Okay, can I start? You can start. Okay. Join me in some kind of Narnia type character, okay? Now, you've been acting since you were 10. I've been acting um, since I was very little, actually. I started professionally, well, if you put that in inverted commas, when I was about uh, seven. I did a TV thing called Frenchman's Creek. Um, and that came about because when I was about six, I started doing Saturday courses as, um, as a, just for fun on a, on a weekend. I got spotted in an end of term show and then had an audition and that sort of led from one thing to another really. Are you still a grounded individual? Or <laughs> you seem fairly grounded. You're here. having me draw you as an alien creature. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well I, I hope so. I mean I've got a younger brother and a younger sister and I think they definitely tell me if they felt but, that in any way, shape or form I was uh, getting above my above my space. Have you ever? Have you ever just swanned in done something ridiculous? Uh, I don't I don't think so. Right. Um, we'll have to ask your siblings. Um, so, you've just uh, finished making Prince Caspian. Yes. How did well, that... Well, we, we, um, we finished making the movie in uh, August, September last year. So we were shooting for most of 2007. And I actually saw it for the first time in uh, about a week ago, two weeks ago, because it's coming out in America today. Um, and it'll be in the UK in June. And, um, so you're coming out in America and you're doing press here? <laughs> no, well, I've been, I've actually, on Sunday, I got back from a two week press tour there. Right. So, um, so I've done all my promotional stuff there. Nah. <laughs> do they do it, make you do anything silly like this? Um, what's the silliest, th uh, the silliest thing that anyone said to me was uh, I had a question on a live TV show, I think, whether um, Daniel Day Lewis was uh, C.S. Lewis's son or grandson. And I had to <laughs> carefully explain that actually they weren't from the same sort of line. Well, all this acting hasn't, clearly hasn't affected your studies because you, uh, you've made it to Oxford. You're at Maudlin, aren't you? I am at Maudlin, which is kind of interesting because it's where C.S. Lewis taught for 20 years of his life. Um, I didn't actually know that when I applied, but, um, but I do now. <laughs> Maybe it was just meant to be. It was the fates. Yeah, I, I would just sort of check out what's up next for me. And how, did the, how does the, um, the new film compare to Lion, Witch and Wardrobe? Um, well, it's... No glazing over in a standard question no, response. The standard question <laughs> response. Um, well, it's, I mean, it's a bit more grown up. I don't think we wanted to set out to make the same film all over again. Um, so you've still got some of the same characters back again, but you have also got new ones. There are many more plot threads going on this time. There's a lot more action. Um, I think it's funnier, actually. There are characters, uh, the Reaper Cheap Mouse played by Eddie Izzard, and Trump in the Dwarf is a guy called Peter Dinklage. He's fantastic. And I think it's, it's going to be a funnier film. Um, good, good. But uh, it's good. I don't know. It's nice to sort of come and do. I mean, obviously, you've just seen one of our rehearsals. It's nice to come and do something totally different again. Because people keep saying to me, okay, well, it, uh, my character at the end of Prince Caspian is told that she's not coming back to Narnia. And so people keep saying to me, well, what are you going to do next? Because I won't be involved in any of the future films that they make. Um, and the answer is inevitably something with people in rooms. Because having spent so much time doing things with CGI characters and spending four days shooting one scene. It's, it's amazing to come back to uni and do some student drama yeah. and actually work on four scenes in one hour rather than like one scene in four days. Yeah. Um, the pace of it. And also, the, I think the fact when, you, you know, when you're doing student drama, you really want to get it right because you're showing your peers and, and you obviously want to creatively put something good together. But at the same time, you can take so much bigger risks mm. because no one's going to fire you. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, <Yeah. laughs> she says so confidently. Um, no one. Well, this, this is a crazy kind of um, divergence from what you've been doing yeah. with Nerd Nani. I mean, it's a quite a controversial play, isn't it? I mean, it is a controversial play. I mean, one of the reasons that it hasn't been performed uh, very much and and was censored for over eighty years is the fact that it's so controversial. But it, it's so interesting because it was written, you know, in the eighteen nineties, nineteen hundred, and it's yeah, it's so kind of ahead of its time and so relevant today and I think the kind of themes that it explores with adolescence and society they all translate really well so without doing our kind of Broadway musical version um, I, th I do think that this production is going to speak to lots of people today Were you nervous about doing any of the scenes? Yeah definitely I mean it's, it's kind of it's a lot less uh, I don't know what the right phrase is really it's, it's, a, it's kind of a lot darker in places than any Narnian experience I've had <laughs> um, I mean, the rape, and uh, although I, I think that's kind of slightly, there's some kind of complicit element to that. 
Um, and a lot of the scenes are quite kind of, uh, well, as you say, controversial. I was a bit worried about inviting my grandma to see it. But actually, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed at how mature everyone's been about it and kind of keen to just make a good show out of it rather than awkwardness and stumbling over those scenes. And, mm. and uh, I've, been, I've been amazed by it, actually. Mm, cool. How do you squeeze it all in? How do you squeeze like, your studies in with this? Um, I will sleep when I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> it's the general philosophy I think I have to stand by at the moment. I'm quite nervous about this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, jacket, yeah. four legs combo. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. do you want to spoil yeah, it? It was destiny, really, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. <laughs>